right, so basically what this guru was talking about, he's talking about how to manifest what you really want. And in order to do that, you need to organize your mind. You need to inhale the good shit, exhale the bullshit. And once you reach the four levels of your lives or whatever he's talking about, he's talking about like the soul, the mind, the body, and something else I just forget because I'm gonna watch this video like three or four more times. That's not the point. The point is that once you have organized your mind, you can manifest everything you want without, without having to put in any type of effort. Effort would be nice, but you won't even have to lift a finger. And that's the point I'm trying to be on. And he's like, you'll know you'll manifest it something when you think about it and then the thing that you thought about actually happened. With me being a porn star, I thought about it, it happened. With me moving to Arizona, I thought about it, it happened. With me getting my own place, I thought about it, it happened. Everything, me finally not being depressed anymore, just wanting to be happy for myself. Manifested it, it happened. Everything I said I was going to do, I did. That I'm trying to tell you guys, the art of manifestation and the law of attraction is a very real thing. We are connected to the universe. The universe is like our parents. Anything we ask the universe to do for us, the universe will do it for us. The only difference between a parent and the universe, a universe can't, the universe can't tell the difference between good energy and bad energy. It just amplifies the energy you give out. So if you're giving out nothing but positivity, that's all you're gonna get, that's all you're gonna see. If you put out nothing but negativity, that's all you're gonna get, that's all you're gonna see. Make sense? So, when I tell you guys, manifest your fucking dreams. Open your third eye, use that law of attraction. Get on a higher path. This shit is real. You can literally learn how to control your own life. You can literally do shit. That is kinda like superpowers. Your mind is infinite. Your mind is the world's best weapon. Think about that. Use me as an example. Because like I said, everything I manifested and used the law of attraction for to get, I got. Being a model and a porn star, I said I was going to do it, I did it. Finding my own place, I said I was going to do it, I did it. Moving to Arizona, I said I was going to do it, I did it. I can name a million other things that I manifested that I said I was going to do and ended up doing. That shit is real. And I'm telling you, watch. Watch when you see me on the big screen, not just in the porn scene. We're taking it to the next level because that's one thing I've been manifesting for a hot minute now. And when that happens, when you see me on the big screen, you're going to be like, oh shit. He said he was going to do that. And what he do? He made it happen. Lead by example. I'm trying to write the playbook for you guys. Manifest. Study, do your research, open up that third eye, use the law of attraction, just be one with the universe and follow your fucking dreams. You can make it happen. That's my thing. Why are you gonna spend more time working for a company, making them more money than they are paying you? That doesn't make sense to me. And yes, we all do it. I'm currently doing it. I work two jobs on top of the other shit that I'm doing. But I'm trying to wean myself off of those two jobs. I see people that complain every day about their job. Jobs that they've been at for 10, 15 years plus, and I think, fuck bro, that could never be me. That won't be me. That will not be me, I promise you, because first off, I don't have that robotic mindset. I don't like being told what to do. I don't like authority. I don't like working a regular nine to five. I like to have my own schedule, do my own shit, make my own money the way I make my money. You know, I wanna be in control of my life. You die once and you live every day. And I'm tired of surviving. Okay, hold on. I was surviving before. Now I'm living kind of lavish. I think I'm living the best I could be possibly living right now. So I'm grateful for all that. But I want more for myself. When I say I want more for myself, I want a house. Doesn't have to, I don't need a mansion. Just a decent sized one story house because fuck, I hate stairs. Where I can just live my best life. I want a YouTube studio for all my other shit. I want a porn, like a porn setup for my adult shit, my OnlyFans, all that stuff. I want to be able to have full control over my life and have those two things be my main job. So these two 95s that I'm working now, I'm staying with them while manifesting the ideas that I, that I know are going to happen in the future. I want to be able to, again, whip a Rari down the street or when I get my 370Z, whip that bitch down the street. I just want to be able to live and I know you guys are going to live too. So if you guys get, take anything at all from this message, it's this. You are in complete control of your life no excuses there are barriers restrictions and things that are meant to keep you down because people don't want you to be on their level or succeed money comes with power look with money comes power 
and with power comes control. So in order to prevent people, us, from opening our minds, being our own bosses, and making millions and having that money in power, laws and restrictions, regular nine to five. Oh, this is a stable job. You won't have to work to be a millionaire. You can just work to, to make bare bread, to barely survive. What? Are you, I, I, you're not stupid. Look at what's happening. Again, I'm in the same boat as you guys because I'm working these two nine to fives, but I know what the fuck is going on. We are too smart to be working for other people. We were meant to breed and work for ourselves and survive. So I don't know about y'all, but nah, it's, for, it's survival of the fittest. Like I'm gonna survive, I'm gonna do what I gotta do and, and, and not be held down to a regular nine to five. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. If you want more for yourself, if you have a talent, use that talent, abuse that talent.